guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I made this golden wing crest shield from Dark Souls. As some of you remember, I started building this shield a year ago on stream, and I was just kind of doing it for fun, and uh, I didn't really have any deadlines on it, so other projects got in the way, but I finally got around to finishing it this week, and I'm going to show you guys how I did it. I started by making a template using an image of the shield. I used the printer page setup in MS Paint to scale the image across a 5 sheet by 3 sheet section of papers. There are lots of ways to scale images for printing, but this one was the easiest for me. Once my template was printed out, I taped the sheets together and cut it out. I traced the crest design and border of the shield onto 6mm thick EVA foam. Then I traced the main body of the shield onto half inch thick pink insulation foam, or extruded polystyrene for you smarties. After cutting it out, I used a rotary tool with a sanding drum to etch the details into my crest. Next, I use a snap blade to cut the base of the shield out of pink foam. Before heat shaping the shield, I traced out where the crest and border will lay. I find this is much easier to do while the shield is still flat. Before we move on to heat forming the shield, a little safety PSA. Pink foam releases toxic gas when heated, so make sure you wear a respirator, work in a well-ventilated area, and keep it away from pets and children. Okay, so pink foam can be curved, but you have to do it slowly and carefully. I work in small sections, applying heat while I bend until I'm happy with the shape. Once I have my desired shape, I attach the trim and crest. I use foam board adhesive but you can use any adhesive that won't eat through pink foam. There are a lot of ways to make a handle, but for this shield, I used a drawer pull mounted to a four millimeter EVA foam piece. I attached the handle to the foam with Chicago screws over washers and glued the foam piece to the back of the shield using gel super glue. I coated this particular shield with Epsilon Foam Coating Epoxy from Smooth-On. I used one coat for the back of the shield and two coats for the front. In case you're curious, I poured my mixed Epsilon into a flat foil-lined container to extend the working time. Resins heat up and cure faster when they're not spread out. I lightly sanded the shield once the Epsilon was cured and began painting. I sprayed the back of the shield silver, and for the front of the shield, I used a combination of green spray paint and blue auto body paint. Once the base color was on, I hand painted the trim and details with golden brand acrylic paint in iridescent gold. I used furniture tacks for the rivets on the perimeter of the shield and weathered everything with black acrylic paint. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And if you don't have any friends, you can share it with your tax person because tax people love cosplay tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week. I did my eyebrows way too dark today. I look like the dog from Animal Crossing.